Hey guys, so what is up? Red Panda Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, as you guys can see, I have gotten a new fan. And this is not an inline fan like that one there. And that one right there is actually meant for a grow tent or like specialized, more enclosed areas. And it's not meant to be for this kind of application in such like a huge square footage basement and trying to extract the air. That thing is not meant for this kind of application. And so I got a bunch of different opinions from subscribers, viewers, my moderators on Discord. And consensus was to get an exhaust fan like so, you guys can see here. This I got off Amazon in Canada, and this is an 18 inch exhaust fan, which does about 18 to 2000 CFM. So hopefully this guy will fit right in that window there. I did measure it, it was about 21 and a half inches, you know, from the top in terms of height. This was exactly 21 inches in terms of height as well. From this part here, all the way to the other part, all the way here, so technically it should fit through the window and I already did a test fit before making this video so I wouldn't have a failed video obviously but you guys saw the temperatures I just showed you earlier and you know it's not bad in terms of being out here in the basement so switching my rigs over into this direction actually helped with the heat that was going off into the main area of my basement here so I don't feel any like major heat pockets around here and it's actually somewhat colder out here and I do have a little like shop fan blowing this way which is actually helping a lot but you guys saw the other temperature reading on the other side here which is about 100 Fahrenheit so yeah look at that 100 Fahrenheit right now I think it's creeping up 101 I'm shooting this video right in the beginning of the afternoon so the temperatures outside the Sun is actually getting much hotter so I'm gonna assume it's gonna get hotter and hotter in the next hour or so I don't want to waste any time I want to take this 8 inch inline fan out pretty much everything that I have here and my plan is to put the 18 inch exhaust fan in its place right here okay so technically it should fit pretty flush with the window once I take out the inline fan I will put the 18 inch exhaust fan right here and I guess we'll essentially see how it fits okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start right now guys I don't want to waste any time I'm gonna turn this off and uh, let me go outside first and I'm gonna peel the HVAC taping on the other side here give me one sec Oh crap, it's gonna fall. Alrighty. Oh, let's see the aftermath here. And yeah, it's not too bad. Just some extra duct taping here. It is clean. All right, I'm gonna open this window up so that it can potentially fit the 18 inch exhaust fan. So I think I'm gonna leave it a little bit wider open so that it can just put it in first and then I can just close the window on it. Of course, we'll have to duct tape it as well. Okay, so I need two hands for this one in order to put that thing up. So give me one second. All right, so actually before I put up the 18 inch exhaust fan, man, I really hope that it can expel some of the heat a lot more in this basement but anyways I need to figure out how to wire this thing first so there is some kind of wires here that I manually need to put into here and yeah I'm just gonna read the manual first before I put it up there and uh, get this all wired up first but it has this really cool like remote so I believe this is a variable speed exhaust fan so I can change the speeds uh, I guess between 100 CFM to 17 or 2000 CFM I'm not sure but we're gonna test that out later all right so let me do some reading and uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I got the wiring all done. Pretty self-explanatory. Black goes with black, the white goes with the white one, and the green goes into the ground. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I had an issue trying to punch out another hole here. I was gonna do this one right here, or actually no, I was gonna do this one right here, but it was such a pain, it just would not come out, so I had to punch out this square instead, so. All right, well, anyways, guys, I'm gonna put the lid back on, and uh, we'll put the exhaust fan on top of the windowsill there, so give me one sec. Okay, actually, one more thing. I just have a kilowatt meter plugged in. I just wanna see the power consumption of this exhaust fan, and I actually wanna see if this thing works. So it's all plugged in, and now I guess I have to essentially just press the power button. 
Okay. All right. Looks. Oh, looks like the flange has just opened up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it says it's on manual right now and high. Okay, so let's see the power consumption. About 94. I don't know if you guys can see that. 92 watts. I think that's actually much less than my 8 inch inline fan. So yeah, actually there's a lot of air coming out of this fan right now. Supposedly 17 to 1800 CFM is supposed to be coming out of this 18 inch exhaust fan. So that seems about right and uh, it's not loud at all. It's actually really quiet. Okay guys, I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead, turn it off and uh, put it up here. Give me a sec. Oh my god, that could not have fit perfectly. Oh my goodness, guys, this fits literally perfect in the windowsill here. I mean, there's a little bit of opening, but I guess I can essentially duct tape that. But man, that is beautiful. You know what, before I put in the tape and stuff around it, I'm just gonna have this plugged in and uh, let's turn it on right now. And yeah, oh, there we go. Oh. I could feel so much airflow coming behind me from my mining rig. It's definitely hot air and this is really good. Yeah, this is a major difference from the 8 inch inline fan there. Okay guys, uh, let's go see what it looks like from the outside. Oh man, I'm so happy. I think this is going to work much better than the 8 inch inline fan for sure. Look at that guys. Just perfect. Okay, so I do need to tape up the sides. I am thinking of buying like some angled like flanges or something and maybe screwing it in through the sides uh, so that I can nail it into the top of the ceiling here uh, in the windowsill just to have some more security. But I'll do that off camera so you guys don't need to see that boring stuff. And as well, I need to go buy some more HVAC duct tape because this definitely won't be enough to go around for the inside and the outside. So I'll do that off camera as well. Okay guys, I'm curious to know, you know, what the temperatures are now in this basement here and it's actually feeling a lot cooler than it was before. As I told you guys before, I have that window closed because that's basically coming from the south and a lot of hot air was coming in. I explained that before. So now I have a lot of the cold air coming through my crypto mining studio for now. Okay, so you guys can see I have the window up right there and there's a breeze, a very, very cold breeze coming from the north here. So that's gonna be much better. And uh, give you guys a quick update of my table here. I already have three monitors, 27 inch and two 24 inch and these are all frameless monitors and I'm hoping to have the 27 inch obviously on the middle of my triple monitor frame here. Hopefully the 24 inch ones I can put vertical. I know that if I put the 27 inch monitor in the center, I won't be able to put the 24 inch ones horizontally like this. It'll definitely go out from like right here because it's 27 inch, but hopefully I can do it vertical instead. So two vertical sided monitors beside the 27 inch one essentially. I got my golden ducky year of the snake keyboard here with cherry MX green switches. I love this keyboard, it's super heavy. I'm waiting to get a mouse pad and uh, some other stuff as well. So, but that'll be for another video, just giving you guys an update. But yeah, the cold air is coming through here and let's just go see, you know, what the temperatures are around my mining rigs here. Okay, so we have 93 Celsius on this angle. And over here we had, I think, 100F before. And now we are at 94 Fahrenheit, so it's working. Wow, I think we dropped like six Fahrenheit. I call that a win for sure. And it definitely feels a lot cooler in this area here. It definitely felt a lot more warmer, like hot spots, especially like over here and uh, where I'm standing, definitely a few hot spots over here. But basically, now that we have 2000 CFM coming out of this 18 inch exhaust fan, way better. We're essentially getting double the CFM than the eight inch inline fan that I had here. So. 
Wow, that makes a world of a difference. And I'm sure once I, you know, close it up a bit on the sides with the A-Track decting, it'll be even better. So I am super happy about this. It is the middle of the day now and it's actually getting really hot outside. So I think this is perfect. It worked out really well. I'm glad I got this 18 inch exhaust fan. Thank you for the Discord members and viewers and subscribers for all of your comments on my previous videos. I read all the comments and of course moving the mining rigs in this kind of position so that the hot air is essentially being pushed this way is definitely another better idea. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna end it there. Please let me know what you think about the 18 inch exhaust fan and what I have done here. I think this is pretty good. But anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.